That was a very quick ride. The airport here in, in Da Nang is so close to the city center, so I'm here in like 10 minutes from my hotel. So uh, thank you again, Vietnam. Thank you, Da Nang City, for being so kind to me. Uh, what? This was such a fun trip. I didn't expect to have so much fun because, I, like I said, this is like my fifth time here in Da Nang City. But there will be a sixth time. There will be a seventh. So thank you. I had so much fun. I can't wait to be back. I think Cebu Pacific is the only one with a, a late flight because uh, it's the only queue. It, there is a long line in Cebu Pacific and no other line. So let's see. I think I should line up now because uh, I want to get a nice seat, preferably aisle and preferably exit row. It's the direct flight from Manila to Tana. I've only been around for less than a mile, I think just over three weeks. Started December 9th, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so already a lot of people are traveling from the Philippines to Danang and vice versa. So it is my first time in the Danang International Airport departure area. Of course, I arrived uh, here, <laughs> but I only got to see the arrival area. So since it's my first time here in this part of the airport, let's explore. A kid is like undoing the, the, the line separators. <laughs> I wonder where he learned that. These are the check-in counters. Cebu Pacific is... Uh, the line in Cebu Pacific is done now. People were at the airport early. This is immigration. What I like about the airport is that it's so bright. So there are other check-in counters here, different airlines of course. It looks exactly the same as the other side, sort of <laughs> like a mirror image. Let's go outside. There are just two entrances to the airport, but it's actually not a small airport. It's rather large. Uh, I saw that there were so many flights, especially to Korea. I mean, just in the space of like two hours, six or seven flights to Korea, both Incheon and Busan. And even here outside, it's so bright. And the best part about Danang's airport is that like the city is right there. You could literally walk. You know, my hotel when I arrived was just like 1.6 kilometers from the airport and I basically walk that distance every day. <laughs> the, the baggage carts are quite new. They're not like the, the malfunctioning ones that we find in Manila. So I, at least if, you know, uh, they get replaced often, that's very important because it's so annoying to operate a malfunctioning baggage cart. Especially if you have really heavy baggage or the, if you have several items with you. So basically there's entrance A and entrance B. 
So before we uh, go through immigration, let's go down. I just want to see what's downstairs. It's the arrival area, of course, but yeah, just curious what's what's there. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So this is what you'll find downstairs. I was here already last Saturday, but I didn't get to like, you know, explore the area if there's such a thing. Yeah. Very, like I said, very bright, very breezy, very airy. Nice design. A bit, uh, I have to admit, a bit generic, but nice. Overall, I like it. The exit from the arrival area is over there and on the other side actually you will find a lot of money exchange uh, businesses. So this is where you go immediately after you arrive to change money into Vietnamese dong. So anyone can be a millionaire when they arrive in Vietnam. I myself, you know, withdrew like six million. Hi. So the, no, oh, there's a food concession in here, a cafe. Okay. There is a bridge here. Um, I believe this is the bridge to the parking lot and also to the grab pickup area. Here is a map of the airport. There's free Wi-Fi here. So you could like check where you want to go <laughs> once you arrive and before you've bought a... Uh... So this is the access bridge direct to the parking lot and to the grab pickup area. Oh, so nice. <laughs> so there's also direct access from the uh, departure uh, floor. And you go straight to the bridge. And beyond the bridge is already the parking lot. A very spacious uh, parking space with the most Vietnamese favorite to ride cars or motorbikes actually. There you go, that's the parking area for the airport. Huge. Oh, too bad the elevator is not working. And look. Look how open this area is. It's like so not busy. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's the time of the day, but I mean, the airport in Manila is always like filled with people, filled with cars. But look at this. Hardly anyone picking up passengers. Are there not any, are there no flights coming in at this hour? I'm back on the departure floor of this airport. Now I'm going to go to immigration. Lines are so short. So <laughs> looking forward to not having to stand in line for so long. Before you enter immigration, no one checks your ticket. Unlike in Manila, there's a security guard checking your ticket if you're actually checked in. So I finally made it out of the final security check. I'm now inside the uh, boarding, boarding area of the Danang International Terminal and uh, well, it's surprisingly darker than the check-in area. It's small but there are a lot of things here and it just goes straight once one line. So I'm at gate number five but we're gonna check out you know the other end of the airport.
Oh, look at this. This is the worst place to buy a souvenir from Vietnam. But of course, it's at the airport only because you're desperate. Desperate to buy something for your loved ones when you get home. To the other end of the airport where gate number four, Cebu Pacific bound for Manila is. You know, I can actually use the airport lounge here, but I prefer to use my lounge pass for you know, a nicer airport, a more, well, a more iconic airport, I would say. This is my gate, but uh, let's uh, still continue to the end. There is a playpen in the boarding area for Cebu Pacific. Goodness, these prices are atrocious, and there is no. All right, now crossing the bridgeway to the plane. As usual, I'm one of the last persons to board the plane, and I like it that way. 